Our new Ram Air diff cover kicks ass on all other diff covers. It cools five times better than all the flat back covers, and it's the best at lowering fluid temperatures. It increases fuel economy, and it helps your axle bearings, carrier bearings, pinion bearings, and the ring and pinion last longer. We spent over a year researching diff covers on the dyno and on the road. It was far more work than anyone anticipated. So how does our new Ram Air diff cover save you money while the other guys cost you money? It all has to do with the fluid dynamics. So we bought every competitive diff cover we could get our hands on. We instrumented each diff cover, we put it on the dyno, and set up our 40,000 CFM Banks wind machine to nose load the truck with 60 mile an hour air. Then we side skirted the truck to keep the air underneath to replicate highway speed, which Curtis from our test group had measured using anemometers both in front of and behind the differential. Working the lube makes heat. Heat breaks down the lube. Degraded lube loses its ability to protect the gears and bearings, and it sucks up horsepower. Speaking of horsepower, there's flywheel horsepower and there's road horsepower. And all of us know the flywheel horsepower doesn't get to the road. Why? Because you've got parasitic losses. Parasitic losses consist of frictional and viscous losses. The parasitic losses add heat to the lubricant. If you increase the viscous loss due to overfilling the rear axle, you're going to lose fuel economy, and you'll see we've proven that. There seems to be this whole school of thought that more lube filled to a higher static level is the killer app. Like, this is the thing to do. I don't think so. Jeep even put it in their owner's manual. Caution, overfilling the differential can result in lubricant foaming and overheating. When we started this project, I wanted to see what was going on inside the differential while it was turning. So I got a clear cover and it became obvious why all the axle manufacturers do a cover that follows the ring gear. Knowing the lubrication flow inside the stock cover, it became clear that the shape of the cover and its distance from the ring gear was critical in getting the lube to flow over the top and out to the ring gear pinion interface with minimal work being done to the fluid. We all know what happens when you blast a fire hose at a brick wall. It goes all directions. Liquid does not like to turn 90 degree angles, but that's exactly what you get with all the flat back covers. Mike, who's typically building engines here at Banks, milled off the back of a mag high-tech cover and replaced the flat section with a piece of clear acrylic. We started with the mag high-tech because it's the granddaddy of all these flat back diff covers. Everybody copied the mag high-tech. There you are, guys. I, I don't know how much is getting to the pinion, but there's an awful lot of action going on back here. Look at the work being done. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You can see in the graphic how the lube is driven into the back of the cover and you can see the temperature increase and the randomness as it climbs up the cover and then falls back into the sump containing all the heat in that bottom corner. And since the fluid in this housing is filled to the stock level, but there's two more quarts, roughly, about six quarts, they even recommend going up as high as eight quarts to flood the axle tubes, which really compounds the felony. The more you bury the ring gear and the pinion and ring gear interface in the oil, the more work you do to the oil and the more drag you put on the system, that's fuel economy. Anytime you heat the oil, you had to burn some fuel in the engine to make that happen. You don't want that to happen. So the ring and pinion are buried. There's impact here. There's impact here. We saw on the clear 
that the oil impacts up here and falls back into the sump, I'm not saying none of it gets over the top. Some does. What I'm saying is what gets over the top and out to the pinion bearings is not the proper amount. Now here's the bank's ram air diff cover. You can tell right away that we respected the stock cover shape and the fluid gap between the ring gear and the cover. You'll also notice that the cover mates perfectly to the differential housing. And we've got a great fluid path to drain all the oil completely when you change the lubricant. First of all, it's a die cast housing. We've got a full perimeter O-ring seal here. And while the other guys splatter fluid everywhere, we're controlling the flow off the ring gear with our lubricant raceway, which takes the fluid flow over the top of the ring gear and out to the pinion bearings and the ring gear pinion interface. And the fill plug is magnetic as well as the drain plug. On both sides of the fluid raceway, we have directional fluid guides to take any spill off and direct it to the carrier bearings and into the axle tubes and out to the axle bearings. These fluid guides also act as heat absorption fins and we've added a lot more down in, here in the sump area. What this does is gives us the greatest heat absorption surface area on the market. That heat absorption takes heat from the lubricant into the casting and out to the heat radiating fins on the outside. None of our competition even comes close to the surface area we've got on the inside and the outside. When you go to fill the bank's diff cover, you'll notice there's no dipsticks, there's no weep holes. We're using a stainless steel O-ring mounted sight glass, the center of which is four quarts. It's got a contrast screen in it, so even when the oil is virtually clear, you can see its level easily from the back of the truck. We tested cruise fuel economy at $3.50 per gallon of diesel, and that could be low or high depending on where you live. Flatback owners will spend approximately $447 in lost fuel economy for every 100,000 miles driven compared to the stock diff cover. That's enough money to buy another diff cover every 100,000 miles. And where did that $447 get used? That fuel energy went to unnecessary work, heating and aerating your lubricant. That's where. To cool the oil, you need high velocity airflow over the cover. So the first thing we did was to instrument the truck with several anemometers to measure the airflow under the belly and behind the differential. What we found was shocking. When Curtis was on the highway recording temps and air velocity, he noticed there was a dead zone behind the face of the diff cover. He used one of our iDash data monsters to log the airspeed and brought back the data for us to analyze. What we found was a large, low pressure zone directly behind the diff cover. The differential housing splits the air like an airplane wing. That means no matter how deep your diff cover's fins are, there's virtually no high velocity air rushing over them to dissipate the heat. At a road speed of 60 miles an hour, the air speed was measured at 32 miles an hour under the truck in front of the differential and only 11 miles an hour, 20 inches behind the differential. This low velocity dead zone extends as far out as 36 inches from the back face of the cover. This discovery resulted in our patented ram air design. As the truck moves through the air, cool ram air is forced into the scoops, there's one on each side, and directed 90 degrees up and through the long, thin heat radiation fins. And the bank's ram air rejects heat five times better and does so with less lubricant than the flatbacks. So let's see how the bank's ram air cover stacks up. It starts with the ram air cooling system. 
The cover mates perfectly with a differential housing for unobstructed lubricant flow. The ring gear lubricant raceway controls flow to the pinion area. It has directional fluid guides that send lubricant out to the axle bearings. It retains the factory spec four quart fill level. It's got a dry mount, high pressure silicon O-ring seal. No messy silicon or RTV. It's got an easy access 20 degree back angled fill port. It has a magnetic 3 8 square drive fill plug, so you don't need a special socket or a hex wrench. It has a magnetic drain plug, also 3 8 square drive, and again, no hex wrench required. And not only does it have a stainless steel sight glass, but the contrast screen inside of it means you can even see your lube when it's clear. And it clears all rear sway bars. So what happens if you snag a rock with your bank's ram air diff cover? I'm going to show you. If that happens, I'll give you another diff cover. And it gets even better. It has a limited lifetime warranty, and it pays for itself. Order yours today at bankspower.com.